Welcome to episode two of Midweek Meditation. I'm Peter Preble, and I'm the interim senior minister at Bethany Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Quincy, Massachusetts. I have to ask you once again to excuse my voice as I'm dealing with a little bit of laryngitis here this week. But we're going to try to muddle through and uh, see if we can get some meditation underway here. Uh, according to the Revised Common Lectionary, this is the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany, and the focus of this meditation today will be on the passage from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 16 through 23. So let's read that, and I'm reading from uh, the New Revised Standard Version. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward, but if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make go the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law, I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but am under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak, I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some, I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I might share in its blessings. This isn't an easy passage uh, to deal with, and there's a lot in there, but I want to focus in on the question uh, that I'd like to ask today, and perhaps we could have a discussion uh, down there in the little uh, discussion box, either on YouTube or on uh, Facebook. But the question I'd like to ask is, what does Paul mean when he says he has become all things to all people so that he could save some. And he uses some examples to the Jews who became a Jew. To those under the law, he became under the law. To those outside the law, he became outside the law. To the weak, he became weak. What does this mean, and what does this mean in our proclamation or for our proclamation of the gospel? What does it mean for us to become all for all? What does it mean for us to welcome all in the United Church of Christ, we say, no matter where you are, no, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. What does that mean in relation to this passage from Scripture? It gives us something to meditate on and something to think about. So let's think about that this week. And again, we'll leave some comments down there, right down there in the little box. And then we'll see if we can get a conversation going. Thanks for uh, joining me this week. And I hope you have a blessed uh, uh, Sunday and a blessed week to come. And hope to see you soon. Thanks.